me, Sander. Did you get kicked out of bed for ruining Sarah's dress or being a Neanderthal? Philip! You told him you kicked me in. No, I... I didn't offer up that information. He just figured it out. It's kind of a no-brainer, really. Oh, and you're an expert at those, aren't you? Oh, my God. Can we just stop? Have we not had enough stress <laughs> for one night? And on top of it, the power's out for God knows how long. Right. And yet... Despite all the stress we're apparently under, you two can find the humor. Oh, isn't it hilarious when someone's deeply hurt by someone that they love with all their heart and share their life with? Deeply hurt? No! You threw a jealous hissy fit over nothing. Very laughable hissy fit at that. Hey, you know what happens to losers who hit on my woman? They get hit repeatedly. But not before I spill wine all over their favorite dress. I'll tell you what's laughable. Your outrageous arrogance. You fail at everything you do, Philip. Disappear from Salem with your tail between your legs, and then you come back here and expect everyone to genuflect in front of your mere presence. When the truth is, if your last name wasn't Kyriakis, you'd be nothing but a down and out deadbeat. Sander! That's cruel. It's unnecessary. It's okay, sir. Let him vent. He's obviously projecting his own insecurities onto me, poor bastard. After an embarrassing temper tantrum, he comes down here to spy on us spews nonsensical BS all over the place and embarrasses himself further. I didn't come down here to spy on you. I came to sleep on the couch. You know the guest room mattress gives me sciatica. So if you two could take your romantic little laugh fest elsewhere so I can get some sleep, that'd be great. We aren't having a laugh fest. I came downstairs because I didn't want to sit alone in our bedroom in the dark. And there's nothing romantic about a power outage. Especially not when it's caused by three escaped Statesville prisoners that are still on the loose. The fun part is, two of them are your old friends, Clyde West and Orpheus. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? Honey, don't you do anything stupid. Vincent's already in jail. Let the justice system do its job. The justice system says the man who said he'd just take care of him for me. Who just broke out of prison tonight? You don't trust the justice system anymore. Yeah, I've had my issues, but come on. <laughs> the system stuck a needle in my arm, pumped me full of drugs, and tried to kill me for a crime that I didn't commit. So no, I don't trust the system to punish Vincent. All right, so you put a bullet in that man now. With your history, you'll be right back on the table, and you don't have Sierra running to your rescue anymore. I don't care. Well, I do. Why do you think I risk busting out of prison to be here to be with you? Tammy Sue's gone. It's just you and me, Ollie. We're all a family we got left. What is there out there for me on the outside except you? What's left for me? So we know that Rolf showed up in town. So it's obvious the men are traveling together. So therefore, that means that Clyde and Orpheus should be here too. Yeah. So we reach out to everyone who has a history with Clyde and Orpheus. Right, we've already covered Ben and Marlena. I already sent cars out to Kate Roberts and Stephen Caleb Johnson's. 